Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the summer event and guess what I just found do you remember this thing although I don't remember this series here I just killed them yesterday so yeah this thing is just a decorator here I tried the ball and nothing happened but we have a new quest for this and I'm afraid we have to wait till tomorrow He's awake! Careful not to frighten him. He's probably just like the others. Ah, humans. Such delicate little things. Don't tell me we're gonna have tack in our squalls. How are you doing, mate? Feeling a little fragile? What am I looking at? So, as you can see, the boat can talk. <laughs> no! Avoidance isn't gonna solve anything! Poor soul. Imagine being scared of talking squirrels and boats. Well, we can't blame him. After all, humans aren't quite accustomed to hearing things like us talk. Wait, have you guys always been able to talk? <laughs> of course! Otherwise, how would we communicate with others of our kind? So in other words, we suddenly gained the ability to understand you? <laughs> how strange! Maybe you've gained some intelligence. Congratulations! So you're finally awake. Time to rise and shine. Oh, you're back. Yes, we went for a little walk. The enchanting scenery and pleasant weather here soothes the body and mind. Everything is fine, except that some places are a little peculiar. Of darkness have descended. Rejoice, for the return of the Imanach Reich is nigh. Main Fräulein means that this is an unexpected development, and she has never seen anything like this before. No, that's not even close to what she said. Oh, my apologies. Please take that as my own opinion. After last night, there have been some. Unusual spectacles on this island. Yes, swimming birds, flying squirrels, the sun and moon in the sky together. Some of these sights only lasted for a moment, but that doesn't make it any less bizarre. Ah, 
I heard a strange flapping sound on the island, but didn't see a single flying creature around. There was also a peculiar floral scent on the wind. Though there are many flowers on this island, that scent did not resemble any of them. Seems to me like whatever these things are, they aren't visible to the naked eye. I tried to perform a divination, but my scry glass showed only a chaotic mess that was impossible to decipher. Ooh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Oh, what have we gotten ourselves into? Hmm... I had resolved to summon the Imanakreish in this land, but now we observe these puzzling phenomena. Could this be the spawn of the Condemned, trying to thwart my sacred endeavor? Wait, you don't think Alice could be behind all this, do you? I really don't know. I, I can't tell if Alice is that kind of person that's gonna... Even is too smart that she can create some stuff that kind of blocks with time, so she actually enjoys see proper people suffer. But if it really was her, it wouldn't make sense to do all this. <laughs> ah, look at them old chap. Seems we scared the pants off them. Aye, well, they've never seen anything like this before. This old boat sailed all over the briny seas in its time, and tried talking to many a sailor, too. But in all that time, not a single person has ever spoken back. Exactly! If it weren't for this environment, who would have thought humans would be able to chat with us? This environment? What do you mean by that? Oh, the environment? Could it be that... that the environment is what's interfering with my divinations? Ah, uh, even if you were... Dreams aren't supposed to become reality, right? And a dream won't make you suddenly understand boats and squirrels! Uh, ah! What's wrong? Catchy? Wait, when did you turn that? Illusion? No, it felt too real to be an illusion. Those things we saw flickering in and out, that's exactly what I saw earlier this morning. <gasps> Does this mean the Amanagrash is real? Wait, what? Ahem! <clears throat> oh, behold! The Amanagrash has come! Just as your princessin had prophesied. Come, my people, a new chapter awaits us. Indeed, main Fräulein. We all have witnessed this miracle with our own eyes. And now is the time to celebrate the creation of a new world. Rejoice. <laughs> Welcome to the Yamanakurash. She looks so happy. Paimon doesn't have the heart to interrupt her right now. Oh, she doesn't seem surprised in the slightest. Does that just come with being an experienced adventurer, or...? If this isn't an illusion, we ought to go and investigate. I got an idea. If you hurt yourself in a dream, you wake up right away, don't you? What are you going with? Um, hmm. Yes, you have a point. Right? So come on, Kazaha. Hit me. Say what? Uh, I'd rather not. Uh, how about you hit me instead? What again? But that'll hurt real bad. Hey, there'll be no need for any of that. Just leave it to us. Um, hey, Traveler, can Paimon hit you? 
in your dreams. <laughs> I like your senses of humor, me hearties. An illusion. So, talking boats and squirrels are just an illusion to humans, huh? Now, now, it's understandable, old chap. Haven't you heard? As humans grow older, they forget many important things and lose many of their abilities. Aye, so they do. A pity, to be sure. Thinking back, in all those years I spent sailing with the fleet, I would have never imagined that one day I'd be laughing over something like this. Well then, me lads and lasses, don't you want to take a wee gander at all the places you're so curious about? Of course, but how do we get there? Look, here. At what? Blimey, at me, of course. Oh, that's right. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm the smartest ship you'll find in all of these parts. The names... Uh... Just call me whatever takes your fancy. Don't you have a name? That I do. I... just can't remember it. All I know is that I came here from Inazuma. In that case, Paimon shall name you... <gasps> Mitaburu! How's that? All the other ships in Inazuma seem to have names ending in Ru, too. Mitoboru. Ha! That'll do nicely. You're lucky to have met me. I can sail through the choppiest seas with ease. There isn't a wave out there that can capsize me. So, come aboard, and I'll take you wherever you'd like to go. Ah, how very kind of you, old chap. Unlike that animal archon who abandoned us here. You know, the Animal Archon of Mondstadt. Don't you know, some of these islands used to be Mondstadt's mountaintops. Once upon a time, the Animal Archon sliced them off to neaten the place up and chucked them into the ocean. My great, 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 uh, great grandfather was on one of the mountaintops and got sent flying here along with it. Wretched Animal Archon. How could that happen? And we've been living here for generations since then. <laughs> Fortunately, there were a few other squirrel families that got stranded on these islands as well. So we built ourselves a kingdom here. The good thing is that there are no predators or competitors around. All the pine cones on this island are ours for the taking. The bad thing is, we're stuck here. Didn't see that coming. Sounds like the Imranath Reich is a kingdom of squirrels! <gasps> Hold thy tongue! Paimon, please do not make such slanderous statements. The Imranath Reich is, of course, a kingdom of night ravens. Hey, lad. Yes, you. You're from Inazuma, eh? That makes us brothers, ha! <laughs> Every young lad of Inazuma has to pluck up the courage to set sail on an adventure one day. So, are you coming? Really? Although, Kazu kinda already did this with Baidosuko. <laughs> to set sail is to leave one's homeland and travel far away. Hi. You need lots of courage, and just a dash of heartlessness. Cause once you leave, you may never return. But if you stay, you're forever a prisoner in your own heart. <laughs> Inspiring words, Mitoboru. And you're right. The wanderer's spirit runs in my blood. I'll go with you. My friends, are you coming too? I want to take a look at the strange phenomena on that island. Also, I smell ancient timber and waterproof varnish on this boat. The scent is indeed from Inazuma, so I believe he speaks the truth. Huh. What does everyone think? Oz, 
Lay down the gangplank. Thy princessin shall take to the seas. Let's all go. It'll definitely be an experience. Ha! <laughs> Great. And we're off. Safe travels. We're almost there. Please take all your personal belongings with you, and mine. Look! There's something over there! Wow. It's... Let's take a closer look. I certainly didn't expect to see you here. This is a bonsai pot, right? It's nice, but it looks like it's been a little neglected. This bonsai was in my family for many generations. I saw it once in a Tenryo Commission warehouse, but it looked quite different from how it does now. Wait, the same one from the Iodoi Festival? But wasn't like a tree here? At that time, there was a withered tree inside. Why would someone keep the plant in there if it's dead? It's a way of sending a secret message. It indicated that there was something hidden inside the flower pot. There was a letter buried down at the bottom, which told of an ancient secret in my clan. I did not take the bonsai with me after reading the letter, which means it should still be in the warehouse now. I wonder who removed the plant and placed the pot here. So the bonsai pot belonged to your ancestors? Seems a shame to leave it empty like this. Huh. Kaza, what do you think about maybe putting a little something inside it? <laughs> All right. Though I still don't understand why it has appeared here. I can give that a try. What is this loading screen? Paima knew it wasn't gonna be that simple. Huh? Oh, yeah. Everyone's here except for Kazuha. Kazuha! Where are you? Are you okay? No response. Well, let's keep an eye out for him. Look at the decor here. It's like the inside of a grand mansion. I don't think this is a perilous maze. It's somebody's home. Most curious. What secrets lie within this place I shall surely uncover. Looks like this letter was written by Kazuha's father. So keeping bonsai plants really does run in the family. Hmm. But the fact that we're even here and could see his father's notes 
It just seems so unbelievable. Man, this took me too there long. There you are. Huh? Where did you all go? This place is a maze. We all got trapped inside except for you. I've been stuck in this room the whole time and can't seem to find a way out. I have to say, this place looks a lot like my childhood bedroom. If this is your home, why would you be trapped here? Is the maze trying to keep you out? <sighs> it appears that this whole maze is modeled after my family home. And all the conversations you heard in there are in fact words once spoken by my father and grandfather. You said that the maze is trying to keep me out. Indeed. I'm the only one unable to explore this place. I think these unusual structures are some kind of mirage. According to what Kazuha said, all this seems to be constructed based on Kazuha's memory. Hmm. But why should Lord Kazuha be the only one excluded? Maybe that comes from me too. To me, what is past is gone. Everything in the world is guided by its own rules, and as for people, we can never relive the past. I think that this belief is the reason why the Mirage was keeping me out. Oh, I can get behind that. It's a very sensible way of looking at things. All our thoughts have consequences. I don't consider it strange, and I don't think it's anything you should be worried about. Hmm. <laughs> We got in here by touching the bonsai, didn't we? So perhaps, if we touch it again... We're back! Hey, look! That whole mountain's changed completely! Wait... <sighs> Everyone... I might have an explanation. The changes in the mirage could be related to the bonsai. My father once mentioned that this pot was originally part of a collection belonging to my great-grandfather. He adored his bonsai and always took great care of them. When our family fell upon hard times, my grandfather traveled far and wide looking for a way to save the clan. However, during that time, my great-grandfather became gravely ill. He knew my grandfather had no interest in bonsai, so before his death, he gave most of his carefully crafted bonsai away. This is the only one he retained. Tied the letter with that secret in it, right? Yes, and to give his son something to remember him by. My grandfather returned quickly as he could, but my great-grandfather had already passed away. They never got the chance to say goodbye to each other before the end. After that, my grandfather would spend long periods of time standing in front of this bonsai, lost in thought. Eventually, he started to make his own bonsai. Unlike his father, he preferred arranging rock gardens instead of plants. Perhaps influenced by my grandfather, my father also took a liking to crafting bonsai. Back then, our courtyard was filled with all kinds of them. And this flower pot was passed down to me as a family treasure. It's certainly no coincidence that it appeared here and became the entrance to the mirage. It's almost as if... It's giving me a chance to make up for past regrets. There was once a time when the Kaidaharas were an illustrious clan in Inazuma. After the Raiden Gokaden incident, our clan's fortunes took a turn for the worse. By the time of my generation, our downfall was complete. Later, I fled Inazuma as I didn't want to be arrested. With no one left in the Kaidahara clan, the authorities confiscated everything in our home, including this bonsai. Like my ancestors before me, 
I think I'd like to try it out for myself. Recreate a favorite scene from my travels, and place it into this pot. Oh. Since the contents of this bonsai affect the mirage, I'd at least like to try my hand at making something. But what style? Should I use plants for the bonsai, like my great-grandfather? Or rocks, like my father and grandfather? <laughs> Perhaps a rock garden would suit me better. So do you need any supplies to make this bonsai? I think I'll need a set of tools and some rocks that can be carved and made into decorations. Got it. We'll help you look. We might just get lucky. If the pot's here, then surely other stuff related to crafting bonsai can't be far away. I concur. Lord Kazuha, take heart in your search, for my retinue and I shall help you retrieve your missing treasures. Thank you, everyone.